All right, let's add a path to the campaign page layout here, and this path will denote the different status designations for a campaign. Now, you can't just simply click Edit Page and add a path to your page layout because we need to first enable paths in your org and then create a path. And so what happens if you try to add a path before it's um, been created, you will have this prompt to set up a path. We don't have a uh, path to choose from here. Okay, so clicking on Setup Path will take you to the Path Setup screen. Unless you've not enabled paths in your org, then there will be a checkbox asking you to enable paths in your org. I've got a couple here in my particular org that I'm in, which is a custom one I've used for creating some of my coursework. You notice my logo here instead of the traditional Salesforce logo. And so we need to click New Path and choose the object in question, which would be Campaign. And then the pick list that we want to choose is Status. Now, whenever you're creating a path, any pick list on an object will appear in the list. So just be sure and select the one that you're wanting to have your path reflect on as far as the different status designations here. And if you have different record types, you can select the record type that you want the path to be relevant for. I've not introduced record types on my campaign objects, so I just have my master record type, which is the default out of the box record type, the one and only in my org. So I'm going to give this a path name of campaign path and clicking next. And then from here, you can select your fields that you want your user to really have highlighted here and you can select the fields for the different status designations. So for planned, we could select some available fields and move them into the selected fields. And then as well, you can provide your guidance for success. That's just some guidance for your end users to know what they need to do whenever a campaign is in the planned status. And for sake of time, I'm not going to go into a lot of this here on this side, but this is a WYSIWYG editor. You can provide hyperlinks to other materials such as videos help guides, you can insert images, bold, italicize, etc. Then you want to do this for your other status designations as well. And so meaning these are the fields that you want to fill out whenever it's at this particular status designation. And once again, providing guidance for success for each of those different status selections. And so I'm kind of picking some at random for sake of time, but whenever you're ready to move on to the next step and finish this out, the final step is to activate our path. It needs to be active in order for it to appear in the Lightning Page Builder that we were in previously. And then we can also enable celebrations if we so desire to celebrate with confetti. So we could celebrate every time that a campaign is completed. And that's the settings that I've selected here and click finish. And so now the next step would be to add this path to our page layout. So to add the path, I can drag it now from the list of standard uh, lightning components, drag it into place where I want it on the lightning page. And now we have the campaign path listed because it now exists. And you could add a filter for component visibility to show or hide the path depending on certain conditions. But what I want to do is go ahead and save my changes to my campaign record page. And then I want to activate this page. And I'm going to select to assign this as the org default for desktop and phone so that any campaign records across desktop and phone for any users, any apps, any profiles. This will be the new page for those displayed campaign records. So it should include the path. So now I'm going to go back out of the Lightning App Builder and this should return me back to the campaign that I was on. And here we have our path. So you can use this to signify the status designations for your campaign. And then whenever a campaign is completed, you can just mark that as the current status. And now we have our celebration. So if you found this video helpful, please do like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below for what you'd like to learn in Salesforce next, and I just might make it my next video. And until then, I'll see you in the cloud.